Game two. Let's get this started. We play and call it work. In tournament fashion, Lucas and I have chosen new boards to play with, so I, I chose the flip side of my board, and I think you have a completely different board. Yes. Uh, we did the roll-offs, and I lost the roll-off, so I picked my board first. You were able to match it up how you wanted, and I was able to put the first objective down. So we have objective two, five, three, four, and one in your Terry. Kind of a similar setup as last game with the long board. You put one objective in my territory a little bit further up for Molog for that initial round one advance. Yep. And um, we're going to go ahead and start deploying. We do the roll off to Absolutely. see who has to go first. I got a support. Two supports. I've got two you got a crit, full, though. and I do have the crit, which puts me ahead of you. And I will allow you to begin to deploy your guys first. That is so kind of you. <laughs> always, always kind. We finished deploying. I deployed first. The first model, I have Petitioner, Petitioner, Petitioner. And it's kind of hard pressed what to do with the warden. He can't get killed right away unless there's a shenanigan that I might not see coming. So I was debating on putting the Warden over here or over here, but he could get attacked right away by Molag, who was obviously deployed before. Pretty much I put my three petitioners down, then I see where Molag was. So I put Prince of Dust, I put the Cleave guy over here, the Champion, and I put the Harvester over here. And I, it's a little weird, because this is actually working against me now, oddly enough. Well, I don't know about oddly enough, but that, that is how it is. Uh, you obviously finished deploying first, so we're gonna go ahead and roll off. Yep. We have our cards. I kept my opening objectives. No, sorry, I kept my opening power hand. I got rid of my first three objectives that just weren't gonna be happening. And you get a critical automatically. I got three yes. criticals. Okay, so you get to dictate who goes first. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This is interesting. Right. I will, I will. I will allow you to go first, sir. So I have to go first. Yes. Okay. So this has happened the last two games we played where I'm like, oh, I would love to just walk up and then push you away. I got knocked back once, so I could knock him out of range to force him to charge. Except you've always had that, that what, is, what is that card? Aggressive defense. Uh, aggressive, you've had aggressive defense every time. And there's no way you have it a third time in a row. I <laughs> Please don't have it a third time in a row. <laughs> you know what? Let's do it. I didn't learn from uh, my mistake last time, so I'm gonna go charge. Do you have it? I do. <laughs> Dang it. Grants of defense, just for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, just for me. So I will do maybe one damage if I'm lucky. And I will pray that you don't do one damage. I need hammers. And I have, wow, okay. Well, you certainly showed off with that, so you do do one, one damage. One damage, everyone. Onto Molog. The knockback will not work, though. And in uh, Jedi fashion, uh, or rather, Empire fashion. I'm going to strike back with Thank you. <laughs> two with two dice. I'm looking for hammers or crits. Oh no! Like a good mole, pound you right back into the ground. Okay. Dang the and perfect uh, roll. Okay, uh, the game. Oh my goodness. There's 20. You know what? You have a 25 percent chance of getting it right. So, what am I doing? Boom! He's dead. And you get a glory. And I get two glory. And so you I also get strong start. Uh, yes. I kill your guy. Your guy is the first guy to die in this round, so and I do get two glory as a result. Score immediately, and so draw a new card. I will oh. pick up also an additional card. That's correct. Well, um, <laughs> it's a rough start. Uh, I will be playing maybe a power. Scrap that. I do not want to play any powers. You do not want to play any power. I will not play any power either. And I will go to my first activation in that case. And for my first activation, I will throw the audience by picking up a card. Is that like the usual good go-to play, or do you, or you just have nothing you really want to do this turn? Well, my that, general that three strategy games. with Molog is first two turns, I pick up cards just to see if I can get something like, if I don't have an inspiration mechanic, in most cases I'll actually throw my entire hand away, my entire power hand away if I don't have my inspiration mechanic right away. But I do like to see those cards because I don't want to expose him with a charge token or two, depending on, again, if he's inspired or not, because I don't want anyone getting free shots on him. His defense is far too weak for that, so I want to make sure if I'm moving in, I feel very confident, I have a great chance of being able to take my opponent out, so he'll have to charge in, and once he does charge in, he obviously can't be activated again in terms of the opponent's um, other guy that's attacking me back. 
Right. Did you did you keep that opening hand because you had that? I did keep. I did keep it. I. That's one of the cards that, as you know, I really like, especially after these uh, games. I know. But I do have some other cards that I was just, I didn't want to give up. Okay, well that's not good for me then. <laughs> so, you... I have picked up a card, and I will not power, and then we are going into your second activity. Okay, well that's not great. That's not good news for me because I could reanimate him here. He's gonna get squished again for more glory for you. Um, and that is kind of counterintuitive. I'm gonna activate just because uh, I'm gonna tell two guys to move. He's gonna move back and he's gonna move over there mm -hmm. just to make you decide to deal with certain objectives, I think. Okay. And I'll put move tokens on them just so I remember and then you know that they've moved. Mm -hmm. And for power, I think I am content ending there. Okay. Now, would you like? What would I like to do? Uh, Power-wise, I think we've got to... I think I have to actually play it kind of safe here. This is first, so I got second, third, and potentially fourth. So I am going to pass on power as well. And that will bring it to your activation then. So I've changed my mind. I will play your power. That's fair. I haven't done anything, so. <laughs> so... Oh, do I want to <laughs> Are you... I lied. I lied. So no power. So, first decision stands about not doing anything in terms of power, and I'm simply going to move Molag up to there for my second activation. Okay. Gotcha. Just a move, eh? Yep, just a move. Interesting. Interesting. So he's just going to move, so you're going to pass on power, yep. I'm going to pass on power as well. Okay. And I'm going to act do a very similar plate where I'm going to tell him to tell two guys to move. Oh, okay. Moving there, mm -hmm. and moving there just to get on four objectives, let me get okay. two more moves. They two will go right there, and okay. um, I'm going to play a, a power, I'm going to play Terrifying Screams. Oh no. To push Molag. I, I have no doubts. Okay, you can push Molag. So Molag will go to there instead. Ooh. Just to, yeah. I don't know, just to help make him well, move again. Well, it certainly helps. Yeah. It certainly helps. It certainly does help you. Are you going to like sidestep? Or are you I'm going? not going to. I'm not going to sidestep. Okay. I don't have sidestep in my deck. <laughs> okay. It's difficult. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Um, um, that's, so I'm that done with power. power. Yep. I will... I will... I gotta pass on power as well in that case. Alright, so it'll be your and third activation. My third activation... Oh, I am going to pick up a card. Okay, grab a new card. And... Hmm, this is interesting, although I don't know... One, two, three, one, two, three... <laughs> I could do... Hmm, but that I should... Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue passing. All right, <laughs> and then I will pass power as well, and we'll go into my final activation, which I'm pretty sure I already know what I'm going to do. All right. I think, and I can't tell if I'm playing too loose and fast, because I'm thinking of like really small, weak little plays. Um, I could reanimate a guy, okay. but that'll just put him in range of Molag, uh, other than over there, I guess. Mm -hmm. But there's also one objective card in my hand I am not going to be getting anytime soon. Okay. So at the same time, I'm thinking, oh, maybe I should get rid of that card. And I think that will be the case. I'm gonna get Battle Without End, gone. Uh, that's, I have to reanimate two warriors. I don't, um, only one's dead so far, and I don't want to hold that for next turn, so I'm just gonna draw a new card. Hopefully it's relevant this turn, or this okay. round. So no power for me after that. I will give Molog Tome of Offerings. No! Another favorite of yours. <laughs> it's so good! <laughs> power over to you. Uh, no power. And for my second, I will... Safe choice. I will give him a reroll by buying foul uh, temper. Fam, foul temper for Molog as well. Okay. So, are you powering? I'm not powering. Okay. I will commence with my fourth and final activation, and for this activation, I will charge your champion. Champion. So yeah, he puts a charge token on himself now too, yep. and he gets to do a swing. He has a reroll now available to him as well. Well, let's see what happens. I'm looking for yeah. hammers and crits. We got a hammer. A hammer. I'm Might going to reroll re -roll my miss and hope for another hammer or crit. Nope, okay. I get the exact same one. So. so I need a dodge or a crit. 
do I? Hey, oh, I avoid. Very nice. I. Ooh, hmm. So okay, I'm curious what you're thinking of here because you could easily push him, right? I but could like, push him, but why I don't see you want to? You got because if I go first during the next round. Oh, I'm out He's of range. out of range, and I have to spend charge. Uh, I have to spend uh, one of my activations charging, as opposed to simply attacking. Understood. And I think I'm not going to push him because even if I push him off, you still have uh, three guys for supremacy. Right. So I'm not concerned about, or rather, I can't do anything about that. So I will actually leave him where he is. Um, and like very, play? very, very disappointing. And would you like to play? I would not like to play any other power cards. I am also going to not play any power cards. So we go into scoring. I went first, okay. so yep. I have to do mine first. All right. Unfortunately for me, I do not have supremacy. Oh, how the, fantastic! The one how time, fantastic. The one time I'm finally able to kind of go for it, I don't have it. Okay. I do score hold objective three though from this guy, so I'm unfortunately only scoring one. Okay. And I am going to get rid of, I'm going to discard Skills Unforgotten. Okay. Also, I guess I technically do an upgrade first. I'll, I'll do one upgrade, because mm -hmm. I'll have one thing and then I'll discard yeah. that. Okay, no Drop problem. Two more of these. We'll upgrade the Warden with Fortitude, giving him five wounds. And then I will fill up my hands. Okay. And then do you score anything? I will score Opening Gambit for having scored strong start at the beginning of the turn. So if I score one objective card, I can score Opening Gambit. And I will also score Master of War for having played one ploy, at least one ob uh, one upgrade, and at least one objective card. That's pretty so good. So I score two for that, and I will spend both of this, these uh, glory points on upgrading Molag first with Potion of Rage Woo! to give him some more dice, and second I will give my Stalag Squig, um, the potion, the bag of tricks. No, oh, that's really good. Which yep. allows him to pick up an addition, pick up a card, any card that I like from my deck. So we are gonna refill our hand here, and three more power. We filled our hands up, and we're ready to start round two of this game. The score's not nearly as bad as it was for me last time. I got a double crit. I got one crit and one half, so or rather two halves. So that puts you ahead of me. Hmm. What would you like to do? Uh, boom. <laughs> me going first as well. True. I mean, well. I'm thinking like, do, do I let you go first? You just get a free kill on him or do whatever it is you have planned. You could charge this way and attack him, but currently not enough to kill him. You and do... uh, you also have support, so it does diminish my chances of killing him. This is true. I'd have support while defending. Um, I'm yes. thinking I could go first and draw another. I'm having a hard time getting power cards I want. I'm, mm -hmm. like, I'll be transparent about it. I'm not getting good power cards. I'm yeah. getting, uh, my, getting a lot of upgrades. Yeah, and... ditto. I'm trying to avoid those. Uh, I'm not giving the glory to really support them though. This guy could go and do a push on him to make it so when he does attack, he kills a petitioner instead of the champion. But Which then, is not an objective, so that is important too. Right. Uh, it's all tough. It is all very tough, and I don't know what the right answer is. I think I'm gonna go with the petitioner. It's an even unlikely way to get him, but I'm gonna charge with the petitioner up there. Okay. And throw some dice. I need swords and crits. Okay. So I got a critical. Well, and oh, I got a critical. Oh, I gotta get a critical too. Hey, oh, there, it is. there you go. So I can't push them either. Yes. Hmm. No, you can't. Oh, I, you oh, can, can push because it yeah. is a tie, right? The so critical, crit critical. against crit, you can push me back so I, one space. I will at least do that little minor. I was hoping to do the one damage. Yeah. I could have done with him, but it would have inspired him as well. So it was all that. And for power, no power. No power. No I power. will not. Either. Alright, so all of you then. I will... You get your first activation in the second I round. will try to crush your petitioner, I guess. That's fair. I'm going to have two dice, and I'm looking for hammers or crits, and I'm going to have one reroll. Um, do I want to use... No, I don't need to use my Potion of Rage. Probably not. Oh, there perfect. He's dead. All right. That's so a hammer and a critical. Yep. He's dead. And that's going to be another glory for you. And any Indeed, score immediately? I do not have any score immediately for that particular action. Uh, so I will get one glory. And with that glory, I will really actually, I will just pass. So okay. um, I'm, I'm going to be passing to you as well in terms of power. So no power, I'll pass. Okay. So my second activation. Yikes. Monster's going to draw a power card because uh, why not? 
and that is going to be both of us passing on power, so it goes to your second activation. So during my second activation, I'm going to have my stalag squig reach in and to his bag of tricks. And find and one find exact card. a specific card. And you have to put a charge for. action on him too. I'm going to find inspiration strikes, which oh, that's, I'm that's going to huge. use right away. So he is now inspired. So he is now precisely inspired, and that's going to go obviously onto Molog himself. That's pretty good. So he is inspired. And in response, I play... So he does four damage to swing while inspired? Precisely. So after you play that, I'm going to play no power in response, and it will go to... Oh, you get to play more power if you want, that's true. Um, I will pass on my power. So I'll go so. to my third activation, mm -hmm. where... So Molog could charge, smack, and he's inspired, so he can charge and smack again. Mm -hmm. So I essentially have to avoid his first attack with the Warden if I don't want the Warden to die. And at the same time, I want to draw more power, because I'll be honest, I'm drawing kind of poo right now. So he's going to do a two-inch move, or two-tile move in this direction okay. for his activation. And he will count as moved. And I will... Hmm. Hmm. I'll play no power. Okay, I will, I will play a power card. I will give Molog an additional nice. reroll so by two equipping rerolls, him yeah. with the Awakened Weapon. So he is quite the force to be dealt with, especially with his two rerolls and the Potion of Rage and Tome of Offerings. He's dangerous. I will pass again. Oh, with your Tome of Offerings, did you just give yourself the extra glory when you kill the guy? Uh, I, I think don't we, think so. I think we might have forgotten that, actually. Um, so, let me just backtrack. Oh, so you should be at a six glory. Yes. So, yes. Um, in um, that case, maybe I will upgrade something else. Yeah, you have, you have, uh, so I'm going to pass again. Mm -hmm. And I want to point out that, again, good plays from Lucas because it, it's hard. I Again, my warband likes to play with when something overcommits, try and kill it in one go. He's got a lot of wounds. So the other strategy, obviously, let, well, Lucas let me know, like the, the, an obvious strategy is to go past him and go kill the guys in the back. That's why he picked a long board. It's hard for me to do that. And my, my, my warband is too slow to accomplish this. So I haven't seen any hidden paths come up. I haven't seen any Fangway yes. crystal. So I'm feeling a little more confident that you're not going to jump back there and start killing my guys. Yes. And seeing that many of your guys are yet to be inspired, I see they do one damage. So I know that I can potentially survive two turns. And I myself do have some of those teleportation cards. So yes. Um, I'm all right with charging ahead at this point, quite literally. And uh, that is going to be it. He's going to move there. I'm going to play no power. You've already done your run upgrade. Yep. Where are you going to upgrade again? Uh, no, I'm not going to upgrade again. I will. I forgot to put a charge token for yes. that first activation on the charge twig for having utilized the bag of tricks, which is what earns him that charge token. And so, you may go with your third activation. Okay, so for my third activation, I will charge two, three, your prince. Mm -hmm. and so that's the champion. Oh, but, sorry. Yeah. Champion and. I will try and smash him. Okay. Um, Let the smash do him. I use my potion of rage or because the next turn I'm going to have another attack. I will I will not use my potion of rage. I will see what I can do with my two rerolls potentially. Alright. So we're looking for hammers and crits, and I've got none of those, so okay, I'm going to reroll re both of those. And once more pray to the Gods of dice to give me none Whoa! of that. Wow, four dice, useless, uselessness okay. at its best. And that's what we were talking about last game with the elite can really yes bite go you in the one way there. or the other. Ah, uh, that was kind of a big deal. That was a big deal. Like yeah. Ron Burgundy, a very big deal. <laughs> so now that I'm going to be playing power after that, I'm going to go on to my last activation. Mm hmm. Boop. I am going to go ahead and draw a power card because I really need something good. That would okay. be, be my last activation. Okay. Whenever you are. So I'm not going to power. Okay. I'm going to give Molog one more wound. Okay. Just to make him nice and beefy. And I'm going to play no power. Okay. And I will actually. Try and, yeah, go for it. We yeah, actually, I forgot. Yeah, I, I am going to play a power. I don't know why I kept saying I'm not going to play a power. I'm going to uh, Confusion. I'm going to choose. Two fighters are gonna, that are adjacent they are going to swap. Yep. So they're going to go here and he's going to go there. He's still moving though. Okay. Then, yes, now you can play a power if you're going to play a power. Okay, so I will not power. Okay, um, and then I will not power either. 
Okay. And you can do your last activation in round two. Yes. So I was debating on, I could try and go for a trap, but I want to try and keep as many guys on objectives oh, as possible. Should have done what? The upgrade? Oh, no, it was great timing on your ha on your behalf in terms of your... Confusion? Uh, your, your confusion, yes. Um, oh, I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I understand. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> was it that great of a play? It was pretty great. I'm just trying to give him support. No, of course, of course, of course. Uh, I mean, I can still charge you here and you wouldn't have support. That's true, yeah. Oh, jeez, um, what, well, you know, what did I do? I don't even know what that, <laughs> not even, I didn't even think about that. I am so bad at Shades Fire. <laughs> well, you've got four, uh, sorry, you've got five wounds at this point. I'm only doing four damage. Right. right. So I still can't kill you. That was kind of like one of those overcommitting things. I don't think you're going to overcommit as a player, but I got to maybe, maybe you will. I don't know. I'm going to just stand here, drink my potion of rage, and get my four dice. Smash the and champion. And I'm going to try and give this champion what he deserved last turn. Uh, uh, reroll two of these. You got a And I got two crit. crits, so, so I'm going to reroll these just, just to see because if I have four crits. No. All right, so he is definitely dead, 100%, and that is another glory. Two glory. Yes, you. that is, in this circumstance, two glory. Because of his uh, upgrade. Which is I, so good! That is awesome! That is a good upgrade it's, for it's him. It's fantastic. It's, for him, it's that and Long Strider, the reroll cards, and I, I'm, I'm certain those are cards that are just really made for Molog. Or I'm made, convinced. and he can use them the most effectively. I am 100% convinced. Else. Um, so what I will, in terms of power, I am going to, so for power, I am going to do predatory growls, and I will push your warden all the way back there. Okay, that is... Really good. <laughs> that, was, that was really good. I don't have anything to counteract that, and yes, I needed that objective. I should have saved the confusion for then, because then I could have just swapped them. Yes. Or Actually, no, I couldn't have, because you just would have pushed that guy off of there anyways. Anyways, uh, that's a good play on your end. Uh, I have no power to react that to that. My fourth. Um, I'm not going to power anything else as well. So end phase, I believe you went first. I you did. score anything? I do score one thing. Unfortunately, okay. it is only determined defender because he was holding that objective on round one and two. Okay. So that is one glory for me. Okay. Boop. That was a really good sidestep. <laughs> I'm going to spend that glory to give the Warden plus one uh, damage, so great strength, giving him a damage of three at range one or two, or if he's flipped, it'll give him a damage of four. Unfortunately, we're going on to the third round, and I haven't reanimated anybody yet. So, you're scoring? So, I score one card, which is Alone in the Darkness. Oh. <laughs> and I will get two more glory for that. I will keep these two power cards. I mean objective cards, and I will give Molog great strength, and I will give him legendary swiftness as well. So plus one speed, so he's movement four now? He's movement four, strength five, two rerolls, so two what was, glory on the kill. Can I know what the great confusion play was yet? Um, y no. <laughs> I can't know yet, oh my goodness, what is going on? <laughs> So, on to roll off time. Ah, uh, jeez, I've got our new hands and I'm down a lot of points. I got two one supports and one half. So that is all power to you. What, what are you at for point? You got two, four, six, eight. I'm at two, I'm down by six. I two, four, six, eight, ten. I've got oh, I have didn't two see those two over there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, jeez, I'm down by eight. <laughs> I will, I win, but I will let you go first, monsieur. So I'm going first. Ah, oh, jeez. And my poor warden is stuck way back in the corner. Uh, we invite him up to the forefront of the battle. No, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to activate him. I'm going to get some reinforcements here. I'm going to bring the champion back right oh. there. Okay. And he will be inspired. Okay. That's the first thing I do. And for power, mm. and I'll play the Restless Dead for power, which okay. will reanimate the Prince of Dust. Over here. Oh, wow. Inspired, which will inspire the Warden as well. Ooh, very nice move. Excellent so, combo, sir. Three Inspires across the board, and would you like to play any power off of that? Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, I should have played a card and reacted a little quicker, but uh, I'm a little slow today, obviously. Let's see what we can do. I'm not 
going to was there a reaction? Wait, was going to be my turn? Was there a reaction um, you had to the rest? Of the there turn? was a reaction, but since you have the rule that me and my buddies have is if you played your reaction card, not only do I have essentially five seconds to react to it, right. but if you make a decision afterwards, so it would be kind of cheesy of me having seen your plan and the fact that oh. you inspired your warden for me to suddenly go, oh, no, 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 I'm not going to let you play that card because I have a reaction to it. I oh. didn't put the pieces together in my mind and it's my responsibility. Okay. And I think that would have been cheap for me to foil that plan after you had executed it. So I gotcha. um, I'm, I'm going to hold off on that and not be a jerk. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, in terms of, however, your power, I will power and I will give Molog an additional wound. He's pretty tanky right now. He's at nine. Yep. He's at eight. Because well, he, yeah, he's he got did the wound. take a single wound okay. earlier on in the game. Uh, power to you. Uh, I think after that, I'm okay to pass. Yes, I'll be passing after that. Um, mm, mm, mm. I will. I will. I will. What How can I that do? Move? What does he want to do? I will. I will use my bag of tricks. Ooh. And I'm going to have a look inside. Someone's digging. My remaining cards here. You already know what you're looking for, I assume? Um. Not really. <laughs> oh, you're just looking for Not kind really, of anything? because I thought that I had all... Yeah, this is the only card that I really need. But is this this doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. That... Yeah. We are going for the healing potion, which is automatically he heal Molog back to full. Yes. He's back at nine wounds currently. Yes. Which is uh, safe, because that means the, the warden can't poke him twice to kill him. Guess he does do four damage to swing now. Precisely. Hmm. Passing your power, I will be passing my power, so my activation is next. We are gonna have the the prin dust, prince of dust. Gonna go ahead and do a charge. Oh, okay. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. He's gonna go there and he's gonna try and swing up Molog, and he yeah. gets three dice and he gets hammers. Okay. For him. Oh, is there a reaction maybe before anything? I roll? Nope. Okay. Nope. Okay. Hammers. Hey! Oh, okay, I can't even save that. So I'm gonna take how much damage? Just two. Just two. Okay. And he gets pushed back two. Yeah. One. Because I have knocked back. Uh, yeah. One. Yeah. So he just gets pushed back two. Mm -hmm. Um, and that is it. That is uh my attack there. So that is my charge, and I'll be playing no power after that either. Okay. Um, this guy is inspired. He Correct. is not inspired. How much damage does he do? Three. Two. Oh, yeah, three with cleave. Three with... Sorry, no, two with cleave. Two he gets an extra dice. Cleave. Okay, and this guy, he doesn't have cleave. He's got two swords, and he's doing two damage. Yep. In that case, I will charge... Oh, no power then? I will... Yeah, I'm not going to power. And Molag is going to do a charge. I am going to charge, and I'm going to go one, two, three... And attack and the attack harvester. Your harvester. And you get to throw two dice. Two dice. Yep. I'm looking for hammers and crits. And we have. And we have okay, nothing. The so it's a good thing you have those upgrades, right? Like, That's why they're there. One hammer. Okay, so I need to dodge or a crit. No, Ooh. I failed. So he is dead. That is a glory. Two glory, actually. That is two glory. Yes. And then double pass on power after that. My third activation. And I'm going to resurrect the Harvester over here. Okay. So he will be inspired with from the Warden, of course. So no power for me. Any power for you? Um. <laughs> Any more score me no. cards in my deck? No. I will not power. And then uh, that's uh, your third activation coming up. Yes. Uh, for my third activation... I am going to do another charge. Right. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Ooh. And I'm actually going to do my swing attack, which is all the Jason. Oh, models. nice. Is that, is that a range of two or a range of one? That's a range of one. So, so I nice will thing. get the two petitioners. Oh, that's four glory if you get them both. <laughs> it's uh, three dice with two rerolls I've got going on, so let's see if we can make something, or oh, actually, do one I can now. also do, yeah, I'm gonna. Which one are we doing first? So, uh, let's go with the one that is not on the objective. There, in the middle. 
Yeah, so let's see if we can strike him down. So I get these two rerolls. One critical so far. Two. Whoa, that's devastating. That's a perfect roll. So I only that's... have one die. I cannot okay. stop that. So he's toast, <laughs> and I get two glory for that kill. And then we have three attacks on him as well. I also do score Long Strider for having made two moves. So True. I could have actually scored that prior to. Um, there would have been one more you score. And you draw a card off of that as well. Yes, and I'm going to go for this. Uh, these dice. Second attack. Yes, Let's I would see. too. <laughs> if we could repeat some of that. So that's oh, pretty close. That's right. actually good enough okay. to kill him. Yes. So that's going to kill him as well. That's another two glory. That's actually three glory because that's right. I'm going to score. Oh no, another one? No remorse, which is a card that I just picked up. And <laughs> I kill did something three eight. damage as yep. opposed to your two wounds. Um. Okay. All right. Any uh, any power after that eight? That was my third. In terms of power, I will not do any power. Okay. Well, my last activation is going to be telling two other friendly fighters to move. So he's going to go one, two, three. He's going to go one, two onto those objectives. Oh no, I broke him. I'll have to fix him later. And I will pass on power on my fourth activation. I will do second wind. Bang. So that I can hopefully still do an attack. Now is that one, you said you have to upgrade for that one or no? I'm sorry? No, this is that you're talking about ready for action. I'm thinking ready for action. Yes. yes. So ready for action is if I do an upgrade, I can immediately do a reaction. Right. And that is a move or attack action. In this case, second win allows me to, uh, I can utilize, I can consider one of my charges that I did this round, it's considered to be a move. Okay. So temporarily, it's as if I had one move and, and one, one charge, charge token, but you don't actually flip the token. A lot of people think that you flip the token, and I did early on as well. It's just for this, or for rather my next activation, right. I can consider those conditions. So he currently has, technically, yeah. Because he ignores the first charge token, yeah. he has one move token, so he's allowed to do a smash. This is a really Precisely. good combination. Yes. So, hence why the card is obviously in the deck, and I'm going to try and crush your leader. And he does five damage right now, doesn't he? He does five damage. Okay, here point. we go. And let's see Ooh. if it happens or not. He gets re-rolls. We have... So I get one hammer. And the re-roll gives the you... And the re-roll is going to give me a nothing. Okay, so I need so... a... Do yep, I'm looking for a singular dodge or critical. It's everything. Oh, that's not good. It's not good. Boom. So Two I'm more going glory. to score Demolished for an additional glory, and I'm going to score Victorious Duel for with my leader killing your leader, so that's yep. actually a total of five glory for that kill. That was a really good roll. As he goes down Two, again, three, which stops four, my plan, because I was going to sidestep onto that, and it wouldn't have, I wouldn't have won. I would have just had more than two glory. I got to steal one of your glory. Are oh, you at 21, eh? Yes, at this point, we're at 21. Okay. So um, I feel like I did a better showing in this game. Uh, we're not done, sorry. Oh, oh you're going to crush me even more. <laughs> no, I'm not going to crush you more. But do you have any power? I got nothing. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'm going to uh, distract one of your guys. Um, but which oh, one? You, you did say you have sidesteps. I do have so sidesteps. I don't know. It's, I, it's not going to matter. So in that case, I will. Um, I don't like this harvester. But the fact that you had Distract uh -huh. would have stopped my Supremacy anyways. Well, you have your card? Uh, yeah, got your, I got Sidestep. And I've got Forceful Deny. Yes. So that's what I'm going to try oh. to do. So let's see if I can... Cool. Yep. Yes, it works. So no, right. so no Sidestep. So currently I'm only staying on objective number three. Yes. And I have no power play. After. I had only offensive powers, but in that okay. last round there I decided to make moves for objectives. Okay. I had a uh, hold objective two, which you killed with the AOE sweep. I forgot you could do mm -hmm. the AOE attack to hit everything yeah, yeah, around yeah. you. I so, rarely actually do that one because I'm petrified of swords, but I figure if I have three dice with two rerolls, it's not it's bad. It's kind of like five dice. Yes. And I feel that with five dice, there's a pretty good chance that I'm going to score a critical. And some swords, right? Something, exactly. Yeah. And knowing that your guys have two dice and just seeing the cards in my hands, it, it was kind of a no brainer. So in this case, uh, you denied me objective four with the distraction. Mm -hmm. Hold objective two, you killed, and I would have had I had supremacy lined up. Now, granted, I would not have won because you have twenty one victory points currently right now, mm -hmm. and I I would have gained another five, putting me at seven. Mm -hmm. But currently, you've crushed me at two glory points. Um, I get uh, to score shining example. I don't know if I'm scoring escalation. I don't recall if you did any upgrades in this round or not. I did, did I believe, not. one or two, so I'm not going to score Escalation, 
but I will score a uh, superior tactician for three more. Nice. So that'll take it up to 24. Okay. Yeah, because I am at, yeah, I'm, I'm still my two. I upgrade at the end of Battle Round 2. Before yes, Battle that's Round 2 started. Thought. That's yeah. what I thought. So, and yeah, so it's. Okay, well, I can I can wholeheartedly say that uh, I did not do so well with the Sepulchral Guard here. Uh, again, this guy's pretty good, and obviously we have a very experienced player here. I had I had I had pretty good dice rolls as well. That always always just helps. So with him, like I said, it goes one way or the other. Either he misses and and he opens himself up. A lot of people use light armor with him, which gives him an additional attack dice, but criticals are no longer considered saves for him. Oh, okay. So that's a card that a lot of people, I don't because I like to at least have that one defense dice. Um, and I do. I, I helped you a lot in this one too. Yes, it did. It yeah, totally Because criticals actually made the difference. Uh, yes, yes. So in, in this case, obviously experience and deck, all those things factor in, but dice are, are fantastic when you're getting crits, he's just unstoppable, quite literally. Yep, uh, in this case, he did walk right through me in the first two games there. Uh, because he walked through me so quickly, Lucas and I are gonna have time to do another set. We are gonna change up our warbands, and we are going to just, just see where we can get with another set. Uh, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna play, but if okay. but if you wanna check those out, if you want no, more Shade Spires, it's gonna be in the Vault. So the Vault is our little paid, kind of uh, our Patreon version before Patreon was the thing. If you want to check out more Shadespire, maybe learn a little bit more from Lucas, because do you know what you're going to play? For your uh, I mean, to be honest, we ha I'd have to put together a deck. I do have a deck that's put together, but I consider it to be a sin to play without with unpainted miniatures, and the only deck I have put together is for my uh, Briar, uh, the thorn, and oh. my thorns, and playing with unpainted miniature is a big no-no in my house, so I'm not going to institute it in your house. Okay. <laughs> so maybe I'll build something else, and uh, we can go from there. I'll see. So you're going to make a fresh deck. I'm going to play... I don't know. I might do something similar. We'll okay. see. Awesome. Uh, and again, everyone, if you're not a vault member, click on the link below in the next video. And uh, you can figure that out. Or go to miniwargaming.com. Or go to miniwargaming.com. As always, everyone, happy wargaming. And I will see you later. See you guys. Thanks for watching.